there's been loads of developments in the cruise world this week, so stay tuned for the latest cruise news updates, including could some parts of the Alaska and New England season be saved, as well as more cancellations and a glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. Before we start, we bring you all the latest cruise news and when we finally get back cruising, cruise vlogs and ship tours. So make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on this great content, if I do say so myself, Ben. First up, we have news from Carnival Cruise Line. Carnival have again pushed back their return to sailing till at least June 2021. This means all cruises up to and including 31st of May have been cancelled, and it also means another delay to their brand new amazing megaship Mardi Gras. It was due to have its maiden voyages in May, but this has been pushed back again till at least June 5th. Yes, we know this is so disappointing as it's one of the most anticipated ships ever, with a huge change of direction compared to Carnival's other cruise ships. President of Carnival Cruise Line Christine Duffy said, We continue to work on plans to resume operations and are encouraged by the focus to expedite vaccine production and distribution, which are having a demonstrated impact on improving public health. So once again, that vaccine is having such a good impact on crews, it shouldn't be long. Fingers crossed until we're back. Can't wait for the Mardi Gras to be launched. I really feel like when the Mardi Gras is finally launched, it'll be a big sort of stepping point or pinpoint into the return to normality. We've been waiting for it for so long, haven't we? We just yeah. can't wait to get on that ship, bring you a ship tour, attach a GoPro to ourselves and get on that roller coaster bolt and give you some fun. It'll be a laugh, won't it? It'd be really fun. I can't we're going to try and do a show on the roller coaster, aren't we? Are we? Yes. This um, is news to me. No, we were speaking to Carnival <laughs> a while ago, and we're like, let's do a show on the on the on the boat roller coaster. It'll be hysterical. Next news from Norwegian Cruise Line: They have pushed back cruising until at least June 2021, cancelling all May cruises. Norwegian have also predicted once the CDC give cruise the green light that there will be a huge surge in booking. Well, we have to agree with Norwegian. That's why it's good to take a look at the deals that are running right now and to maybe book something towards the end of the year so that it's a little bit safer that it won't get cancelled. But those deals are going really, really quickly. Other cruise lines have already said that the numbers are looking very strong, with lots of bookings flooding in over the last few weeks. Frank Del Rio, CEO of Norwegian, said, There is so much pent-up demand, people have money in their pockets. There are about 20 fewer ships in the North American fleet than there were. This has the making of a boom time in the cruise industry. I like the sound of that. Yeah, and he's right. We have lost so many ships this year. But on the other hand, we have so many new ships to come, like we we're just saying. He's also indicated that it will take 90 days to get back to cruising once the CDC give them the green light. He's not expecting that to happen anytime soon. He said it could happen in the next week on the weeks to come. So on that basis, even if they were given the green light today, even though it's not going to happen, we are a while off and that would mean at least the end of May. Last week we brought you the massive losses that Royal Caribbean had during 2020, while Norwegian have also reported a net loss of four billion dollars in 2020, compared to a net income of 930 million dollars in 2019. That's a massive amount of money, but not as much as Royal's 5.8 billion loss. And again, Norwegian, like Royal Caribbean, isn't going anywhere. They have enough funds to sustain a much longer cruise lockdown, so you don't need to worry about those cruise lines going under. They're not going to. It's just really sad to hear about these losses and especially the impact it's going to have for the people who work for the cruise line, like the crews on board. All they want to do is get back to work and start earning some of that hard earned money that they need. This video is sponsored by our friends at Skillshare. Skillshare have been an absolute lifesaver when it comes to this downtime without any cruising. It's kept our brains working and given us some fantastic new skills to take into the new world. Well, once it opens again. Skillshare is an online learning community offering unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes on topics including video production, illustration, photography, and much more. One class that we can definitely recommend is the video for Instagram, telling an engaging story in less than a minute, taught by Helise Narvarez. Helise works through some basic ideas around storytelling and how to incorporate different filming techniques 
into your Instagram. And because of this class, we've seen a big increase in our followers since we started adding video content. So that's a big win. Because we're working with Skillshare, the first 1,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description section below will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity too. There's no ads and new classes are being added all of the time. And once the trial is over, it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Bargain. Now back to the show. Next, Royal Caribbean have made no announcements yet, cancelling cruises into June like the other operators. But we expect them to follow suit and make the announcement very soon. There's just no way that we will be cruising in May. There just isn't enough time to complete the CDC's conditional sale framework, including those test cruises. We expect to see May voyages cancelled in the next few days. Next up, Princess have cancelled more 2021 cruises. They've cancelled all Alaska seven-day cruises that plan to sail between Vancouver and Anchorage. And they've also cancelled sailings that start or end in Vancouver and the Canadian Adventure Cruise that was due to set sail on a round trip from Southampton here in the UK. That sounded like a fantastic cruise. But surprisingly, other Alaska and New England cruises are not being cancelled at this moment. They are currently in discussions with Canadian and US government authorities to try and find a way to preserve those cruises. Could this mean that pausing the Passenger Service Act, which prevents US round trip voyages with a stop in a foreign port, in this case Canada, it's really promising news. We will keep you fully updated as soon as we hear more, but keep your fingers crossed that that season won't be cancelled. All other Princess sailings are cancelled up until at least March the 31st, 2021. But again, that isn't going to happen. The earliest they could possibly do it if they got the OK today is the end of May. So we expect that to be pushed back any day soon. Come on, Princess, get them dates pushed back. You need to keep people updated and not make them think they're going to be cruising in early March. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, very exciting though about the Alaska season. Yeah. Excited to see what comes out of this as well. Maybe they'll just have to do a technical stop in Canada when nobody gets off. Who knows? In a similar fashion, fellow Carnival Corporation cruise line Holland America have made similar cancellations, including cancelling all voyages that were scheduled to depart from or end in a Canadian port in 2021. And again, like Princess, they're not cancelling Alaska round trip cruises from Seattle in the hope that they can find a way for them to go ahead. All other Holland America cruises are cancelled till at least May 2021. I really wish all of the cruise lines would get together and make a very firm date for when they're going to get back. Yeah. I can't understand why same companies under the Carnival brand, such as Holland America, uh, Carnival and Princess, all have different start dates. They need to get the rack together and speak to each other and communicate, don't they? Definitely, yeah. And I feel like now they need to put a pin in a date that is a little bit more realistic now. Obviously, we're not going to be cruising in the next month. So, guys, it's time to push that date back. And we completely understand why they're doing it for money, but I think it's easier on the passengers, don't you? In other news, Grand Cayman are saying when cruise returns that they are going to limit the amount of ships that visit. They already announced a few months back that they will not be allowing any cruise ships back till at least 2022, which was already bad news. But now they've went that step further and they want to reduce the number of ships visiting its shores. The island has a small population of under 65,000, but in 2019, more than 1.83 million cruise ship passengers landed on the island. That's a lot of people. Premier of the Cayman Islands, Alden McCoughlin, said, I am not suggesting that Cayman entirely abandon cruise tourism, but we can cap the numbers so that our current system can accommodate them in a better way and the experience for those who do visit can be better. I mean, it's disappointing, but totally understandable, as you can see, considering the size of the island, mm -hmm. and they're saying they may have been overwhelmed. But in a twist, he said that the lockdown and the ceasing of cruises has enabled them to look at other forms of tourism, including medical tourism. So replacing it with something even more controversial, you might say. To be honest, we visit the island a few times. There are some beautiful beaches, but there are so many nicer Caribbean islands out there. Whilst it offers nice water activities, we've been swimming with the rays before, that was amazing. And they have a place called Hell. Yes, popular but spot. apart from this, it's just full of big brick buildings and banks. So it's not the prettiest of the islands out there. Yeah, hopefully the cruise lines work with other islands that do want the cruise tourism, 
but I do understand maybe a little bit when there is a lot of ships in it. Because a lot of cruise lines were actually going to pull out because for years they've been trying to get the Cayman Islands to build an actual uh, dock port. Yeah. Because at the moment you can only tender off the island. So I know a few big cruise lines threaten to pull out. So maybe this is the final straw. I mean, certainly in the short term, cruise lines we know are going to be utilising their private islands even more. Maybe this will be a push for them to build even more of these private resorts and private islands. And finally, news from our home here in the UK. There's a glimmer of light. Our Prime Minister has set out the roadmap out of this current lockdown. It's looking good, subject to review in mid-May. International and domestic travel may be back. Yay, this is amazing. It's literally just over two months ago. We might be able to travel to other countries and our own country as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, in case you don't know, guys, we have been in a full lockdown since uh, really full just lockdown. around Christmas, wasn't it? It was different parts of the UK started at different times, but we are not allowed to go out and meet and mingle. We are only allowed out for uh, essential things such as exercise and going to get food shopping and essential supplies. So we have been in lockdown here for a long, long time. But does all this news and this return to travel mean that we could see cruising from the UK soon? Please. Well, the answer is maybe. <laughs> It's no. just made us feel so much better. It's some great news to finally see a way out of this. And we're having great success with the vaccination program here as well. So there's that, that light at the end of the tunnel. But there still hasn't been any guidance from the government provided to cruise lines to show what they need to do to get back sailing again. So that's something we're still waiting for. Morella Cruises, in a quick and smart move, quickly reacted to the guidance and cancelled all cruises until at least May. But in breaking news today, p have temporarily halted selling cruises due to sale before June 21st, while it seeks additional clarification on the government's new roadmap. So that's good. A spokesman said that these cruises have not been canceled, also adding guests would be told if the current suspension into April is extended, but it is going to be extended into April because they've said we can't travel till May. So it's a fact. I just wish, wish they would make a decision very quickly to inform customers that their cruises will not be going ahead in April. It does not align with the government guidelines, so it's not going to happen, is it? No, it isn't, unfortunately. But it's a lighter note. It's good to know, like oh, you said, there is light at the end so of the tunnel. So happy, guys. So happy. The Just sun the sun is shining here in the UK. It's, it's like spring. Spring has sprung, hasn't it? It's, it's gorgeous. Nice. Yeah. Animals are coming alive, the birds are tweeting in the morning. I'm outside tweeting in the morning on Twitter. <laughs> Yes, outside tweeting. I'm outside <laughs> tweeting like a bird. So guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. We really appreciate it. And thanks to our sponsors, Skillshare. You can find out about getting one of those trials in the description section below. It really supports us. And thank you so much to all of our patrons as well. We give you loads of extra videos and content behind the scenes stuff. So please sign up there and it really helps us out. Our captain of the week is Michael. Ahoy! So that's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising! cruising.